In this section, we're gonna be talking about the put object API for S3. Um, this is probably one of the most popular APIs that you're gonna be using. Uh, this basically allows you to upload an object or uh, kind of in more classic terms, upload a file to S3 uh, to some bucket that you specify. Uh, so if we take a look at this documentation here, uh, kind of gives you what you would expect. You must have write permissions. So if you don't have write permissions or put object permissions, uh, you're not gonna be able to kind of make this API request. Um, also important to note here, keep in mind that S3 never adds partial objects. Uh, so it's an all or nothing kind of behavior. Um, so if your file, if you're uploading like a gigabyte file or whatever, and it quits 99% of the way, maybe your internet went down, maybe something else, then uh, you're gonna be out of luck. You gotta re-upload the whole thing. Um, so make sure you're aware of that if you're using this to upload large files. Uh, also, they call out here if you call the same, if you make the same request multiple times for the same key or the same ID, that's the file name, um, in other terms, uh, it's going to overwrite every time. So there's no concept of locking in S3. So make sure you're not uh, relying on that in any way. Um, so other than that, there's a whole bunch of, of jazz here in this documentation. There's also this concept of versioning. Uh, we're not going to get into that, but what I will get into is how to do this using the S3 SDK um, and Node.js. Um, so let's take a look at this. Let me just pop out of there really quick. Um, so we're, we're going to be uploading an object using the put object API in this example. So we're, we're using a params uh, input object and it's going to have a bunch of keys and values. So the, the first one is the body, which is a binary representation of the data that you want to upload. Uh, and this isn't very useful. It's like you see binary string. What the heck does that mean? So I found a quick little example here of how to do this. Uh, and I just put it up here. So const file content uh, using the FS library for file system. Then you just read the file synchronously and then you just give it the path to the file name right there. Uh, so that's a quick little shortcut of con converting an object to a binary representation. Um, after that, you need to specify the bucket that it's going to. So just remember that buckets are like top level folders of S3. And then you also need to specify the key and the key just is a canonical term for the uh, file name. Again, uh, it's going to be happyface.jpg. And just as a reminder, again, you can upload any file type. So JSON, text files, blob files, images, uh, zip files, whatever you want to S3. I don't think there's any limitation as long as it doesn't go uh, against their terms of service. But anyways, once you've uh, got the parameters set up here in this example, like we saw, you just call the put object API, you pass those parameters in, you get a callback function that you provide a, uh, and there's an error and data input. You just check if it's an error, if it is call it back or console log it rather. Uh, if it's not, you console log the response. And this is the response, just basically an acknowledgement that uh, everything worked correctly or else you would have had an error code in the response if there was an error. Um, so hopefully this is useful. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.